We are at Logan Hawking Hills outside of Cincinnati in Ohio and I can tell you right now I just checked it I haven't even checked in yet I would not stay here again do not stay here the slope coming up here is about 20 degrees so I put the truck in four-wheel drive and that's not even to the entrance here the site is horribly unlevel I'm not even at hitching because I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to hitch out so whatever national park I was supposed to see here tomorrow I'm not going to do it I'm just going to stay in remain hitched up and then leave the next day I'm here for two nights and very thankful I only booked two nights. The view from the registration place is, is beautiful. Look at this view, really nice. However, the road coming up this hill, horrible. The sights itself, very uneven and not leveled at all. I'll show you when, once I check in. Again, I would not stay in this park again. Okay, I've tried every possible combination for this faucet and it still keeps leaking. Another reason why I don't like it, I like this park. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up the fresh water tank and use up the reserves. I do have 50 amp, but with no sewer hookup. Yes, I booked too late for this park. The whole park is a hill, as you can see here. Everyone is on leveling blocks. There is no leveled sites anywhere. Again, I'm not unhooking. We're just gonna leave it as is. Now, this guy up here in this hill, on the hill, he got here before I did, and he's still trying to level. Absolutely ridiculous. The one thing I do like about this KOA location is its internet. Amazing speed. I've got 90%, very good connectivity. Here's a grand design. Let's see if they clear this turn. They do. Okay. So if they did this, I can do it too. And this is where I gotta switch it to four-wheel drive. Here we are at Lebanon KOA. It's an adorable little town. It's our hookup, 50 pull hookup, pull through. I did have to level a little bit. Cable, good water pressure, 50 amp. And lots of space for the truck and the airstream it's a really good site even have part two airstreams here <laughs> all right from the moment i checked in they escorted me from the registration which i'm kind of getting used to it was koa and the moment i checked in i asked them i was like where's a good place to eat all of a sudden, the second person behind the desk, her name is Cindy, very nice, lovable woman. She jumps up and starts handing me brochures of where to eat, where to have breakfast. And as I was setting up, 
she came by with her golf cart and brought me my Amazon packages. Isn't that fabulous? Door-to-door -door service. I love this park. Such a difference from the last park I was in. Hawking Hills, I don't even remember. I'm not going back there again. But this park I definitely will come back to. Beautiful. Oh, and I noticed that the neighbors are gonna be very quiet because I'm seeing headstones way over there in the distance. Wonderful. And I ha we did not cross any railroad tracks getting here, so I know it's going to be quiet at night. There are a few cicadas, not too much. And the leaves are turning yellow, yellow and red. So when I stay in this park again, I haven't even spent an hour here yet. I've just been setting up for the last 20 minutes. And again, they delivered my Amazon packages to my site. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, what is in these Amazon packages? My, the coffee maker broke two days ago. So I haven't had regular coffee. So I'm hoping that's the coffee maker. And the other package is Jafran, Filipino ketchup made of banana sauce. I've been having chicken. But I've been having it with ketchup, which isn't the same. I need Jeffron. <laughs> Filipino the Filipino in me is coming out. I need I need my Jeffron. So that's what's in these packages. <sighs> okay, now to set up the inside since I'm all by myself here and Walter's back in Vegas. I will be setting up the inside now. The outside's done. We're leveled. It's nice. It's about 72 degrees right now. It is just so lovely out here. Here's the laundry area. Got five dryers, $2 each, and four washers at $2 each. And a nice long folding table. Wonderful. First dinner out here at Lebanon. This town is absolutely adorable. The Victorian homes around the downtown area. I'm gonna walk around <laughs> after I do some of the national parks. But tonight we're having dinner at Lucky Dragon. I'm having an Asian craving. Mongolian beef, pot stickers, and wonton soup. I'm gonna post this on YouTube. Do you mind if I? No, you're okay. Is there anything I should know about the mound before I walk around? Uh, we ask that you don't walk on the mounds okay. or the enclosure wall going around the earthwork. So is there a trail that yep. goes around the mound? Yeah, you can go out inside the earthwork. Uh, and there is some signage. Oh, okay. That was really... Uh, if you just go down the sidewalk... Okay, so we're here. Yeah, if you go around the corner here, down the sidewalk, you can walk out there. Okay. Yeah, we just asked that you don't walk on this wall or the Oh, okay. Mounds. See, I was going to go there. <laughs> right. And then there is a trail that goes through the woods down to the river. Uh, and then this side is just mowed grass. It's okay. So just, we're... Okay. So I go this far and then what? I can you, walk yep, here? Yep. They got all these little dark dashes uh -huh. are information signs. Oh, okay. So I'll just follow the signs there. Yeah. Okay. So no, no circles. No. Okay. I don't want to... I don't want to disturb anything. I... It's it's horrible when people do that. Right, I agree. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Here we are at Hopewell Cultural. Uh, we're in Ohio still, and from about 200 BC to 500 AD, the Ohio River was a focal point of the prehistoric Hopewell culture. A broad network of Native American groups who shared beliefs and practices. The Hopewell constructed enclosures made of earthen walls, often built in geometric patterns. Okay, I'm reading that from the book. <laughs> so we're going to walk around. There's, there's mounds here that the Hopewell culture built. And I guess that's where they... I don't know what it is. <laughs> we'll go find out. Okay, from the looks of it, it's these mounds are burial 
are graveyards. They're burial sites. Alright, after reading all the signs that are around the mounds themselves, essentially it's a 2,000 year old Indian cemetery. That's what the mounds were used for. They're burial plots. So, interesting. Glad I came here. It was educational. Alright, on to the next park. Alright, here we are at the William Howard Taft National Historic Site. And he is the only man to serve as U.S. President and Supreme Court Chief Justice. Was born in this house, which has been restored to its original appearance. A visit to the site includes a tour of four period rooms that reflect the family life during Taft's boyhood. I don't know if it's going to be open or not, but apparently that's the house right there. So gonna get our stamp and take a tour hopefully it's open interesting bit of history the Philippines used to be a territory of the United States This does interest me greatly since I'm Filipino. According to this, or a bit of Filipino history and American history, the United States acquired the Philippines as one of the prize the Philippines as one of the prize of victory in the Spanish American War of 1898. We are at Dayton Aviation Heritage National Park, and according to the tour book. Uh, this was Wilbur Wright and Orville Wright and Paul Lawrence Dunbar are memoriated I can't say that word <laughs> in their Dayton bicycle shop. Oh, this is the bicycle shop. The Wright brothers researched and built the world's first heavier than air machine capable of flight. Dunbar, a gifted writer, contributed to a growing culture at cultural identity for African Americans. Oh, look at that! But the Wrights were becoming very discouraged. Their machine was not performing the way they thought it should. Matter of fact, on the way back from Kitty Hawk in 1901, Wilbur comments that man will not fly for another thousand years. <laughs> Talk about being discouraged. <laughs> yes. When they got back here, they sat down and began very carefully looking at everything. Okay, we're in Old Park, Lebanon. Lots of traffic. However, they have these signs throughout the city explaining whatever building you're next to. So there's another one down there, another one over there. Where we're having dinner tonight, Golden Lamb. Okay, this Thai restaurant, we were gonna eat here one evening, but under Yelp, they had a wait, and I don't do waits, and I just walk by it. There's no one there. <laughs> they need to change their Yelp. Okay, we're gonna have the sauerkraut balls, and this set menu. Deviled eggs, the short ribs, and vanilla bean carrot cake. 
wanted pork. The only pork they have is in the short ribs. I had a New York steak last night, so don't really want that. These are the sauerkraut balls, libations, which is gray goose on the rocks, two olives, iced tea, and water. Okay, these are the deviled eggs, and the libations are kicking in. Okay, these deviled eggs are the best I've ever had. They're deep fried, and then it's on top. Oh my god, it's delicious. Carrot cake for dessert. The short ribs was a little bit of a disappointment. It was a little bit too salty. You can always add salt, but you can't take away salt.